Hello, dear students. How are you doing? Are you okay? Good. Today, we are now back after a long time without teaching you. We got some different challenges that prevented us from teaching you here on YouTube. Now, we are ready to teach you English language that you need in your daily life situations. But today, we are going to teach you how to use imperative sentences in English language. Do you know the meaning of imperative sentences? That is what we are going to be talking about. Please, please, I beg you, don't go out of this lesson. We have had different things that we're going to teach you today. I am Teacher Jasper, as always, the one who helps you know English language. I am Teacher Jasper. Ndi mgarimu Jasper, nubundi nagaru tserero, kukuigisha isomo bijicho njereza. I have started by saying that we are now back. Natanjemba bugirako ubu tugarutse. After a long time without teaching you English. Nyuma ije chire chire nhabigisha icho njereza. Did you know why? Waruzi imhamvu. Imhamvu na buwafagu itu yimenya. Ariko na vuzengo. We got different challenges. Tukwa huye na challenges inyishi chane. Niyo imhamvu tutajiragute. Tutajaga tuvijisha icho njereza hano kuri YouTube. Ariko turagarutse kandi tugarutse no neho neza cham. Aba kunzi watu, rero, wherever you are, we are here to teach you English language. The English you need in your daily life situations. Mubumuri situasyo yugu zimabgawe bgawuri mus. Good. I am going to teach you imperative sentences in English language. Nje kukujisha imperative sentences. But before teaching you the imperative sentences, we still have English books that are there to help you so much. Ivi tabo, bila jira jeza. Kugupa shakitane kuzamura urgue gorgwawe mucho njereza. Then please don't hesitate to come and buy the books. Yes, please come wherever you are. Just we have the books and the books are there for a very special discount. Mubjukuri. Dufte discounti kubanu bagura ibi vitabu baka biguri ya rimge ukwari ibi vitabu bijera kuri bine. Nice. Good. The first word of today. Murabizi ko yotu mbere yoko tu vijisha. Tu wanza kubaha ijambori jumuz. The word of today is imperative. Imperative. What is the meaning of imperative in English? Imperative in American English. Imperative means something that is essential. Very important. Ichinu chinje nzi chane. Tuchita imperative. Shobra kuguru jero ngavuga ni. Coming here just now is imperative for us. Kuzahano akakanya ni jinje nzi chane kuritkwe. Imperative, that is something that is extremely important. That is very vital. That is very necessary. Essential. Ichinu chinje nzi, ichinu chinjira kamaro. Mucho njereza chichinya amerikari. Dukoresha imperative. Tuvuga imperative yo tuvuga chino chinje nzi chane. Very important. Nice. But today we are going to teach you how to use imperative sentences in English. This word imperative muri gruama, mchivo na zamvugo, chicho njereza imperative, visoba anurichi ineruro zitejeka. Imperative sentences ineruro zitejeka. Vitandu kanye ni imperative mwiji shishivugi chino chinje nzi chane. Mururimi guicho njereza, chane chane American English. When you are talking about American English, imperative means very important. But here, imperative sentences, these are sentences that command, sentences that order, sentences that oblige. Nineru rozi jiragute zitejeka. That is what we are going to be saying. Tujie kurebi zineru romuri affirmative form, nyumaya hotu razirewa muri negative form. Nice. Good. How to use imperative sentences in English? That is our lesson of today. How to use imperative sentences in English? What is an imperative sentence? Ichambere tugomba kumenya. What is an imperative sentence? Ese ineruro itejeka ni ineruro imeze ite. Imperative or an imperative sentence is a sentence which is used to command. It commands. Nineruro, to command means butejeka. That is the sentence that is used or which is used to command. It begins with a verb without to. Nineruro yose 
itangizwa na verb ariko itariho tu for example if i say go there just now i am commanding you to go there go there just now come here right now those are imperative sentences don't say to come here you remove that to iyo tu ivaho ukavuga come here right now go there just now bring that food just now kanu kanya zana biriya biryo uh, eat or finish up this food ibi biryo birangize eh bimare bi, bi, bi mara ibi biryo that is to finish up finish up this food which means that i am commanding this time i am obliging you to do an action ndikugutegeka gukora igikorwa that is to oblige to command no no there is on the road nizo tujye kureba ahanga for example here i can say open your books i am commanding this time ndikugutegeka open your books if i say open your books which means that i want you to read them or i want you to to open them if you open the book the, the next action that you are going to do is reading then if i say this i am commanding you kubera ko natangije open finish up this food do you see the second sentence finish up this food i am commanding i command you to finish up the food yes ibi biryo bimare show me the way this is imperative sentence because it is a sentence that starts that begins with with the verb to show verb to finish verb to open good call him just now muhamagare akakanya ndikugutegeka if you don't do that there are some punishments that are waiting for you nutabikora hari ibihano bigutegereje uvuga ngo ikoresha imperative sentences uri kubibwira yatabikoze uramuhana cyangwa ukaba wamukorera ikindi kintu that is imperative sentences here you can say give it to me now give it to me give it to me yes ni kaye wenda yimpe iyo kaye kimpe icyo gitabo give it to me just now if you don't give it to me i am going to punish you or there are things that are that are very bad that i'm going to do Yes which means that imperative sentences always command is neruro cyane cyane zirategeka ubwo rero ntabwo ushobora kubwira umuntu ukuruta ukoresheje ama imperative sentences wenda wabibwira umwana my child go to school ja kwishuri my child take take this food to the fridge jana ibi biryo ubijane muri frigo take it to the fridge uguru kumuri gutegeka ariko utegeka bitewe nabantu muri kumwe cyangwa se nabantu mumenyeranye that is it good bring it here for example number 6 i can say bring it here when i when i say bring it here if you don't bring it here utabizanye naguhana yes cyangwa se harukundi kuno byagenda spit something you are chewing that is another imperative sentence spit something you are chewing eh chira ikintu uri gukanja cira ibyo uri gukanja spit something you are chewing nice to spit means go cira then verb to chew you see here verb to chew means go kanja spit something you are chewing good then we use don't to negate imperative sentences dukoresha rero dushyiraho don't imbere ya verb yo turi guhakana interuro zigira gute zitegeka but that time you are also commanding ariko icyo gena none uburi gutegeka for example if i say don't you see don't open your books na none ndi kugutegeka i am commanding you please don't open your books wifungura igitabo cyangwa ibitabo byawe don't open your books cyangwa mwifungura ibitabo byanyu don't finish up this food ibiryo ntubimare there is someone else who needs to eat harundi ukeneye kurya don't finish up this food we mari bibiryo don't show me the way don't show me the way i am the one who is going to show the way myself ninjewe uri buze 
kuyobora don't show me the way winyere kinzira don't i am commanding i am also commanding here hano nanone ndi gutegeka don't show me the way nubwo bose ndi guhakana nyine ndi ndi kuguhakana ngo winyere kibi wikora ibi wijayo don't go there we mamagara don't call me just now yes here don't call him just now we muhamagara don't call him there is a commanding sentence there is an imperative sentence good don't give it to me now oya wichi mpakano kanya we we mio kaye we ma icho gitabo we ma iyo modoka don't give it to me just now you will give it to me when i finish my second school uzama telephone ni ndangiza secondaire don't give it to me just now you will give it to me when i finish my secondary school nice this is the sentence number 6 don't bring it here don't bring it here this is an imperative sentence that negates iyi nteruro nayo iri imperative nkuko twabibonye irategeka ariko igahakana don't bring it here wikiza na hano wiyiza na hano yes don't spit something you are chewing wichira ibyo uri gukanje don't spit something you are chewing that is an imperative sentence too now i am going to give you five imperative sentences in affirmative form and five imperative sentences in negative form to better understand this lesson ngiye kuguha interrogation ziri muri imperative form muri buka formula ya imperative form ni interrogation ziri muri imperative form ariko zihakana nice let's go randomly i can say go to the hospital right now ubwo negative rate ba don't go to the hospital right now aha hose ndikugutegeka wishe kimwe muri ibi ndaguhana that is imperative sit here my son don't sit here my son that is imperative affirmative then imperative negative sit here my son don't sit here my son the third example is this one bring that material bring that material zana kirya gikoresha don't bring that material we zana kirya gikoresha build this house right now ubaka iyinzu akakanya don't build this house right now that is imperative negative okay i can say open all doors open all doors fungura imiryango yose don't open all doors that is imperative negative but open all doors imperative affirmative nduva ngo ni ntero ndi kuvuga ndi kukubwira ukora just now cyangwa ukora akakanya ariko ndi ndi guhakana ko uyikoze bya bikibazo byose ariko ndi kugutegeka open the doors don't open the doors vango fungura iyo miryango gwifungura iyo miryango imperative nuko ikorwa it is a very a very simple expression of english ni expression icyo ngereza iri very simple it is a grammatical rule that is very simple in english language there it's up to you to make or to have different sentences to better understand imperatives in english language how to use imperatives in english language i will teach you other kinds of imperatives nzabigisha ubundi buryo ushobora kuvuga utegeka but these ones are the ones that we have prepared for you today izinizo twabateguriye uyu munsi but you should use imperatives ariko nano twabonye ko ukoresha imperatives according to the situation to the environment never use imperatives wherever you are ntabwo uri muri office ushobora kubwira bossi mubwira uti boss correct me please nkosora give me my my marks give me my marks please teacher give me my marks nabwo ari byiza ma amanota yanje teacher teach me please nabushobora kuvuga ngo teach me now nyigisha kakanya no you will say 
please teacher, can you teach me now? Could you teach me now? May you teach me now? Ugoni bgo buri job giza bgo ku kuba wabaza umonu changu musaba ubure ingazira bgo korichin. Nice. Then now we are going to continue with the saying of today. Tuje kuba ha invugo yumusi nguko tu bikora buriji. Good. Are you waiting for the saying of today? Utajereje invugo yumusi. Wow. Let's go. After this lesson, we are going to give you the saying. This is today's saying, as we give it to you always. Today's saying is this one. This is today's saying. In English we say, remember, everyone can love you when the sun is shining, but in the storms, you will know who truly loves you. Everyone can love you when the sun is shining. But in the storms, you will know who truly loves you. Let me repeat. Everyone can love you when the sun is shining. But in the storms, you will know who truly loves you. Bishatse kufuga ngo, umunu wese uje wibu kako, umunu wese ashobora kugukunda mujihe izuba riri kuva. Mujihe binari bjiza, ufitama faranga, na mga nurguaje, umezeneza. Ariko, iyi mihe njerije, nibugo mubjukuri umenya inshuti nyayo. Iyo wajemu bibazo mga nararguaje, ama faranga ya ashize, ni bibazo na chitu kuguru. Eh, nibuguza amenya ya nshuti yawe, no, no, ya nyayo. But you should remember that everyone can love you when the sun is shining. But in the storms, that is where you will know the one who truly loves you. Mumihe njere, mubibazo, mumakuba, nibuguza amenya ugukunda. Aba nubosu wa shoku ugukunda, aliko mubibazo, nibuguza amenya no no ishuti nyashuti. I am teacher Jasper. We are together for the next lessons. Bye-bye and we love you so much.